Hey guys, we're now in a little bit of a cove here at this beach in Miami, and we're still using the 85 1.2, like I already talked about. Got the Polar Pro Circular Polarizer on there still. That's gonna come in handy for just eliminating some sweat and highlights like I already talked about. Nikon Z8 is doing its thing, and we are gonna to attempt to find some little nooks and crannies of light. These might be slang terms to some of you, so this is a nook, and this is a cranny. In these areas, so I'm looking at positioning the net in some of these little places and dealing with the light outside of the shadow, framing her in the sand, framing her in the sun, We'll be adjusting our shutter speed here just to affect our highlights and make sure we're keeping them intact and we're not overexposing them. And since I'm gonna protect those, we'll be fine when we put those in Capture One and work with the files. But we're gonna be playing with the shadows and the light in this section, that's the whole goal. But Nanette is actually gonna to be topless with this towel covering her. So we're doing a little bit of an implied kind of setup. I wanna to try to create a scene for Nanette and not just have her out here being a pretty girl with a towel over her chest standing around here. I need to put her in the right mindset. So I'm gonna have Nanette out here facing away from me, obviously because she has her full back showing. And one of the reasons that is really great for showing the back in this case is because look where the sun is at. Literally directly above off to my left. So that's gonna create awesome shadows across the back of her hips and her butt and allow me to have just nice shape across the back. And also she can look back over at the camera. You know, we can pretend like it's a candid moment where the boyfriend's on the beach looking back, taking pictures of her. Like she can, I can put that in her head so she can actually have those emotions and those thoughts. So Nanette, I'm gonna walk you out past that little fishy. Mm -hmm. I see him, I see that tiger shark. <laughs> <laughs> tiger shark, baby. <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about. As Nanette walks out there, we can even shoot through this, honestly. So <laughs> they're gonna go away, Nanette. <laughs> Nanette, where are you going? <laughs> That's okay. He's a little puffer fish. So I'm just getting kind of low here so I can get in the net to be as tall as she can be. Or one hand grabbing the edge of the bikini bottom. Yeah, like you're fixing as you look back over. Go ahead, walking out. Yep, exactly, cool. Let me have you walk back towards me facing me. So I'm staying as low as I can. And you know, one of the cool things about the Z8 is the ability for it to spin up like this so I don't have to have my eye down on the ground. I can shoot in a net like this. But Nanette, I'm gonna have you turning towards me. Yeah, there you go, walking towards me. Put your hand up there so it kind of keeps the towel thin. Head up, head up, like that. One more time. And step to your left a little bit so that when you walk to me, that branch shadow doesn't get on you so much. Walk back two more steps, if you can, without, without crying. <laughs> you can look where you're going. <laughs> oh, these are the best moments, folks. <laughs> Go ahead and come towards me. Yep, okay. Let me have you down here in the water and I'm gonna have you in another little sun spot. So I'll have the net here doing this number and seeing what her arms do with the towel and her top just to kind of see what it's doing with the pose. And this is just you kind of relaxing right there with your feet down. In some cases, we can use the sand as a bounce. This is a little bit of a darker sand, so it's not really creating that much of a bounce back up to her face. I could also maybe have a reflector under her feet, but I'm trying to show full body. You can keep your face down actually, in it like you're just doing. You can turn a little bit towards that way so your butt's coming this way a little bit like that, there you go. but I don't want you to look like you're taking a <laughs> And then keep your face down a little bit more if you can, like you're just looking down even more. And then do give me that look up again, yep. Eyes closed. You don't have to be sad, you can be excited and happy that the sun is falling on your face. I like that, yeah. So the hands going up the legs, remember you were putting on sunblock. Yep, hand through the hair, do that again. Put the hand all the way through the hair. Like that, there you go. Like that, that's cool. Lean your head this way now, like that. There you go, perfect, beautiful. Look towards me a little bit in that same position. Yep. Am I able to have you laying back across that? Is that a bad idea? <laughs> yes, yes, it's a bad idea. What about this section? Is your head okay here? All right. Even with all this glass everywhere from beer bottles? I just want to find a place for you to rest your neck and, you know, be able to lean back a bit into the sun. Just as a little bit of a different position, different pose. And something that gives us a candid ability for her to not have to think about the pose so much. Yeah, like that's awesome. Can we scrunch everything so that it still fits your body, but doesn't cover, exactly, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that net, that's great. So the problem with me again here is being at 85, I do have to do this number to back up, but hey, it doesn't look bad at all. I'm gonna twist my circular polarizer 
to kill some of the reflection coming off of her skin. And I'm gonna look through my viewfinder so I can actually see what the heck I'm doing here because it is bright one, folks. Here we go, Nanette. That looks awesome. On three, one, two. Bend it to the other side now, like put it over your body, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. That looks awesome. I'm gonna come closer here so I'm just above you. And now I'm cutting off her feet and I'm just kind of with her shins and her face. The light on your face looks awesome, in it? You can slide your hands down or kind of move that um, towel wherever you want just so that you can position it however you need to. Yeah, it's best off to the side. Maybe squeeze your hand on the hand that's touching your, your shoulder. There you go, there you go, there you go. That's awesome, in it? You can swivel the hips whichever way you want. You can swap them. I'm shooting through it, so keep the expression, keep the expression. Love that. It's hot outside. You're burning up, but it feels so good. I'm shooting these horizontally. I had to swap my polarizer a little bit just to fix it. And yeah, she's checking the tan line. You can like pull both sides individually just so one side's longer than the other. Like that. Love that. Eyes here from there, eyes here from there. Love that. That looks cool. I'm going to swap positions because I've been shooting from this side so long. And like I mentioned earlier, we got to change positions wherever we can. I'm just getting a whole different perspective on this side, using that tree as a leading line. You can let those go. Can you go both hands up maybe? Oh, I love that. Keep the, keep the elbows open so I can see the face like that. I'm getting a little bit closer here. So I'm just above. And remember, you don't have to keep the eyes open if it hurts or if you're getting blinded. I'm going to go around her here. Looking straight at me, Nanette. Love that. Lean over towards me. As she leans towards me, it's gonna get rid of the light on her face, which is okay, because I still have it on her body and it still shapes her body. Love that. I'm gonna get lower here, just so I see more of the tree trunks in the background. Really quickly here, I wanted to interrupt the photo shoot to show you one of these photos. And you know how I mentioned that her face is no longer in the sun. As I'm seeing these photos being shot, as I'm shooting these and I'm acknowledging where the shadows and light are, notice on her body is where most of the light is. I'm okay with that because I know I can easily start to attribute more light to her face by just using simple tools in my raw editor. Now I use Capture One. If you wanna learn more about how I'm editing photos in Capture One, how I'm using my raw tools to my advantage, Make sure and take a look at dannybatista.com slash learn. In the meantime, though, I'll show you one little technique right here. I'm gonna go over to my layers and masks. I'm gonna go to subject, and when I click subject and press M to review my mask, you're gonna notice that it does a pretty damn good job of selecting the subject. Now, I don't necessarily care in this particular mask to affect any part of this part of her body. I just wanna affect her face. So what I'm gonna do here is just use the eraser tool, and I'm gonna blend out everything that I don't need to effect on this particular layer. And you'll notice now that I just have this section of her face selected. This allows me now to simply come in here and start to modify the exposure of that area. And notice I can start to get really close to what I wanna see here. So I'm gonna pull up brightness just a bit so that her face loses some of the shadow here on the back left side. The midtones get pulled up a little bit. I'll bump up the exposure just a bit and I'll turn on my exposure warning to see if I'm seeing any issues here. And then if there's any area in here that I don't want to modify or I don't want to affect, I can start to blend away certain areas. Like let's say I don't want her hand to have so much of an exposure change. Or I can press Command Z here and kind of bring that back a little bit. I think that is actually perfectly fine. And anything here that you see on her face that we would retouch would be done in Photoshop. This is not something to do in Lightroom. This is not something to do in Capture One. Those are raw editors. What you wanna do is right click and edit in Photoshop and take these over to Photoshop to actually do your retouch. After spending five minutes in Photoshop using my retouching action and the techniques that I teach every photographer that comes to me for help, this is an example of what this looks like. Before, after, before, after, before, after. I'll zoom in here, before, after, before, after. These are the techniques that I show you how to use to keep all your texture, have beautiful edits, and still keep it looking very, very natural. Now, like I mentioned, I do all of my retouching tutorials and in-depth tutorials here on dannybatista.com slash learn. You can see what everybody says here about actually joining the site. When you join, you get access to all of these tutorials, everything you see here, including my presets, including my raw files, including my actions, including anything that you need to actually learn what I do. And all gold members get to request their own personalized custom video on any topic they want every single month on retouching, business, 
photo shoots, lighting, anything that you can possibly imagine across any industry of photography, you can ask your question and get a custom video from me every single month. Now let's jump back into the photo shoot. And her putting her head up like that also works out perfectly. Look back over your body to the other side, past us, behind you, like that, like that. What does it look like if you um, bring your legs to your body? Like if you like grab your legs. That, that's awesome. Give me a little smile. You're enjoying your life. Lifestyle photography 101. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, you can bring it down. <laughs> help, help. You know, 911. That looked awesome from that side. I'm sure the camera could see that too. Oh, wow. But the light and the ability yeah, is that so the thing is awesome. I just wow, that looks crazy. This is when you're staring straight at the camera. Finding those little light hits, those little light leaks. Works it's crazy out how the light will make you look like you just got your makeup done. It just depends on the Depending light. how yeah. we position your face, yeah. So I'm framing you in those tree trunks. Like that is, and a completely different thing than anything we shot earlier. Yeah. Which is awesome because of how the light is, because of the shadows, because of obviously how we're yeah. positioning you and finding something for you to lean on. If we didn't have that, your head would be back. It might not look as good. Yeah. The one thing I want to do is a little 30 second video yeah. of you in maybe that position since it looked so good. Yeah. Um, and then one of you walking towards us okay. and call it a day. I'm gonna swap on my moment variable ND so that I can actually keep the shutter speed that I want. And then we'll shoot a little bit of video. You'll see how I'm hand holding that and we'll be good. The 85 1.2 would have put in all the work today. All right, guys, that's it for part two. Part three is coming up. Where we're actually gonna go over how I'm using my Nikon Z8 for video, the settings that I'm using, how I'm talking to the net, how I'm directing the net, how I'm shooting unstabilized footage, how I'm shooting more stabilized footage handheld, what I'm doing with the lighting, how I'm directing certain poses, and how I'm creating some more motion and interesting looks in video instead of photo.